Well, to Germany now, where Angela Merkel's CDU party is picking a successor this Friday. Merkel, who's been at the helm of the EU's biggest economy for 16 years, is stepping down this year. The current party leader and Merkel's chosen successor, Annegret Kramp Karrenbauer, failed to impose her authority on the CDU and she is resigning. So who is left in the race? Well, our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian, is here to tell us a bit more about that. So, Armin, there are three main contenders. What can you tell us? about them. Yeah, that's right. So you've got uh, three uh, men on the ballot. Uh, uh, they are Friedrich Merz, who's a businessman uh, who uh, represents perhaps the biggest break with Merkelism. He wants to bring the party back to the right, get conservative voters back uh, into the fold and kind of move away from centrist policies. And he's also sceptical about further European integration. Um, he's certainly not a Eurosceptic in the British sense of the term, but certainly he's kind of, the, he would be uh, the biggest break from Merkel, although it's not such a huge uh, move away, given that the others, uh, or given that his main rival uh, is very much in Merkel's fold. That main rival is Armin Laschet, who's been the uh, leader of uh, Germany's most populous state uh, since 2017. Uh, and he says there were just seeing him coming down the, the stairs there. Uh, he says he that the party should run on Merkel's legacy. It shouldn't be ashamed of everything that she's done. On the contrary, he says uh, that you know, the polls actually suggest that uh, Merkelism is very much alive and well, that Merkel fatigue is sort of over overstated. Um, so he's perhaps the closest th uh, candidate that there is to Merkel herself, uh, ideologically. And then you've got Norbert Röttgen, who is the chairman of the uh, German Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee. So he talks a lot about his foreign policy uh, credentials. Laura also talks up his appeal to uh, younger voters. Uh, he kind of likes to talk a lot about issues that they're interested in, like climate change. He's also been pretty good at using social media in this campaign, whereas uh, the other two are a lot more kind of old school. Uh, but having said all this, um, it's actually a bit complex because these three candidates are not necessarily a shoe in to become chancellor at the end of this, this year. They're the only three on the ballot, but there are two other powerful figures uh, who could still somehow maneuver into uh, the the sort of uh, the top job. There's still a lot that can happen between now and the federal election in uh, September of this year. So no sure thing at this yeah. stage. Well, Merkel's been in power for a long time, uh, but her party, the CDU, the Christian Democrats, have been in power even longer, 50 of the last 70 years, in fact. What is the party's secret? Uh, well, w with Merkel as, as chancellor, the, uh, I mean, there's a couple of things. Firstly, the sort of... Uh, cool head in crisis management, which is something that seems to go down quite well in Germany. But I think more broadly, just this uh, value on continuity and stability, which does seem to be uh, something that uh, is kind of valued in German political culture, perhaps more than in in some other European countries. Uh, and uh, I, that, so that that's part of it. It's, it's style. Um, but in terms of substance as well, you know, the fact that she's governed more from the center, as I alluded to before, uh, that's something that has gone down well with, uh, with voters who were not necessarily traditionally CDU uh, voters originally. And I think a crucial component as well, Laura, is uh, that uh, she's formed all these various coalitions with other parties, and somehow she's managed to let those other parties take the blame when things have gone wrong. So both the Social Democrats and the Free Democrats that she's had coalitions with have actually ended up being diminished as electoral forces in Germany, whereas the CDU has remained quite resilient. Big shoes to fill over there in Germany. Armin, thank you very much indeed. Armin Georgian there. With